Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, thank you very much. Like my team and myself would like to thank you first of all for hosting us here. We are delighted to tell you about our experience at University of Arkansas, and we are the TEFL cohort, and the title of our presentation is Capacity Building. Uh, capacity building has to do with empowering our potential, the junior faculty at the University of Arkansas during our program in order to develop ourselves. We are going to take you today to a journey during the, those whole 10 weeks that we have spent there with phase one, where Amira and myself will be telling you about the experience there. Then phase two will be with Maisa, and the cultural exchange that we had will be with Sahar. And at the end, the reflections will be with both Esme and Omnia. And we would like to have all your questions at the end of our presentation. I'll give the floor now to Amira to talk to you about phase one. Hello, everybody. OK, uh, speaking about phase one, phase one uh, lasted from uh, the 6th of July uh, till the 10th of August. And we focus more on teaching methodology. We learned. Uh, Techniques for teaching the, the four language skills and sub skills. Um, we also um, uh, discussed some techniques about becoming lifelong learners and teacher leaders. We also had the chance to know more about the theories of teaching and learning process. Uh, we improved our skills about writing. Uh, we had a course of academic writing and style uh, course. And we also had the chance to write a, a conference proposal and select and uh, write grants. And uh, finally, we also discussed new methods for uh, testing and assessing student performance. Um, also, we have in the phase one, we have micro teaching to apply what we have learned. Uh, leaving the, the floor to Lukna. Hello again. Uh, the part that uh, uh, Amira talked to us about has to do with the theoretical background and theoretical information we have gained during this phase. This part was supplemented with micro teaching where we have demonstrated the practical part about it. The first thing that we have done was group presentations all the go. We were divided into groups to present uh, certain applications for the theories that we have studied. The second thing we did was writing lessening lesson plans, and we worked in pairs in order to write a full lesson plan for a listening class. We have also worked with something that was almost new for every one of us, which is the zero prep, how to do part in a lesson without many preparation, and this is what we did with the grammar. And the last thing was the reading many lesson plans and demos. We were asked individually to present a short demo for a reading class. And it was very beneficial for all of us, this practical part. And now it's Misa's turn with phase two. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Misa Hashed. I'm a teaching assistant at the Department of English Faculty of Art, Munafi University. And before I start, I just wanted to thank you all, and especially the Fulbright, for giving us this uh, opportunity to live this experience in USA and also to represent Egyptian universities uh, abroad. Um, for our program um, in the US, we, um, as Lobna said, it has been divided to uh, two phases. And the, the second phase, mainly, it's a practical phase where we try to apply what we have learned in the first phase or phase one, and also to see. Uh, the outcomes of our time in the U.S. And the uh, second phase, first of all, we have um, a great opportunity and um, experience of having a TESOL or a mini TESOL um, uh, conference where we had the chance to present um, our uh, presentations about the teaching methods, the creativity in the EL classrooms, testing and assessment, and also using technology in classrooms. And in this, um, in this uh, conference, uh, it has been uh, for only for the teachers mainly. So the most of the attendees, attendees were teachers. And also, um, we collaborated with a lot of teachers from Mexico, from Iraq, and from USA, and also from Egypt. So mainly, it was a mini TESOL. And we represented Egypt there for many, uh, different, um, for many different topics. Uh, related to uh, teaching English. And also, we published our abstract in the conference um, um, uh, for, forum or the conference uh, uh, program magazine. And the second one was 
uh, that we have a very good chance to uh, have this training for other teachers. So now we are, uh, we are wearing too many hats, the hat of the teacher and also the hat of the student. And for the, the, the hat of the teacher, also we have another, a third hat, which is a mentor, where we have the chance to teach teachers of how to become teachers. So uh, we had a group of teachers from Panama. They are pre-service teachers from Panama, and they are starting to get their career. So uh, we, we, uh, we organized with the University of Arkansas, we organized uh, this training for the teachers to, to teach him, them how to, became, how to become teachers. So in this, um, in this program, we teach the four skills, or how to teach the four skills, the classroom management, creativity, and the EFL classrooms. And also we helped them to uh, create lesson plans and how, and this was a, a great opportunity for us because some of us were already mentors, but some of us haven't uh, teached uh, any uh, teachers before. So this was a great opportunity for, for us in, uh, in this phase. And now I'm leaving the floor to Asma and Omnia, uh, sorry, to Sahar, to talk to you about the culture exchange. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, well, I'm going to give you an idea about the cultural experience that we had while we were in the U.S. Um, so we had diversity in the classroom, like Maisa, my colleague, was just saying. We had the opportunity to be students inside the classroom with um, people coming from different countries. Um, there were other two other um, uh, groups from Mexico and a group from Iraq and a student from Japan. We were all students at the same time in the same classroom. That was a great opportunity for us. We also got the chance to, um, again, Maisa has given you an idea about this, to teach pre-service teachers from Panama. So we got the chance as teachers to teach people who come from totally different backgrounds in different countries. That was a great, um, also a great um, experience for us because for some of us that was the first time uh, to do this. Um, we also had the exposure to the American culture. We got information sessions. We had events. And I'm going to... Uh, we had many side visits as well. So first, inside Fayetteville. Fayetteville, this is the city where we were in Arkansas. We went to Eureka Springs. Eureka Springs is breathtaking. And we, went, and we also had a visit to the Fayetteville City Council, um, where we got an idea about how people make decisions inside the city. And, um, and we also met the mayor of Fayetteville. We went to Springdale in Arkansas. We, had, uh, we, we visited Springdale High School, Northwest Arkansas Community College, and the Culinary School. That was a very good um, experience for us because we had an idea about the educational system inside the U.S. Um, schools, uh, community colleges, our university, and also we, get, we um, had an idea about the uh, postgraduate studies and how people, um, the educational system, how it works in the U.S. We also went to Bentonville in Arkansas. We went to Crystal, uh, um, we gained um, an artistic um, experience we, where we went to two museums, Crystal Bridges and Sam Walton uh, Art Museum. Uh, Little Rock, this is the capital of Arkansas. We went, we visited the Central High School there and the Bill Clinton Library. Both had a huge history, so we, it was also very informative for us. And um, finally, we went to Oklahoma where we visited the Cherokee Heritage Center. Cherokee is, um, is, a, is the Native American tribe in the U.S. And we also, we get a, a, a good idea about the trail of, of tears, how they, um, the, the experience that they've gone through um, and the path that they went through uh, in the U.S. and everything. So um, that was also a very good experience. We made a video, so we'd like to show you um, some of our pictures in where we went, and then I'm going to give you a quick idea about these pictures. Um,
Right. Um, we are sorry that we have this technical problem, but this, these are some photos of our experience and, uh, um, and the university and also in Fayetteville. Some of us, like as you see, uh, go for skydiving. Uh, we sang in the International Music uh, Day, and also this, this is from the International Music Day. Okay, so um so we cooked at the hotel, we invited everyone for Egyptian food. That was during the family market, we danced in the street and we sang. Um, again, the family market. Um, this was during the presentations. That was fun. Uh, this is during the certificates. We were taking the certificates to, uh, at the very the last day of the um, of the program. Um, this is, was when we went canoeing. This is the hog, which is the um, uh, well. Some of us went to Disneyland, uh, Disney World. Um, we ha we had s'mores there. That was during the American football match. Again, Orlando. Um, yeah, well. Again, morning. Uh, that was the International Day. With the sound, it was it was so much fun. The International Day, so we sang. I'm going to tell you about it after the video. This was in Washington, in DC. Um, well, the video is almost over, but without the sound, it really lost so much of its meaning. But anyway, so just to give you an idea of the cultural events that we that we had, this was an international day. So what was was what what that was? We um, there were because there were many people from different countries all over the world. So um, each group of of students they sang and, and we sang and we danced. So there were performances in in a, uh, in the theater and. Our Egyptian group, we all sang two songs. Um, all of us sang one of the songs, and then Omni and Maisa sang another one. There was a concert at the park, a picnic. These were, um, I think, by the, by the beginning of the trip. Um, there were some outdoor activities. Some of us went hiking. Some of us went kayaking. We all went canoeing. That was great. Um, indoor activities, we had the root beer float. So um, uh, for some of us, again, we tasted the root beer for the first time. That was nice. Uh, bowling, we all of us went bowling, some of us went ice skating, and um, the host families, uh, there were families in the U.S. who hosted us, some of us um, um, stayed with the, ho uh, were hosted inside the houses of their host families, and for some of us, we, the, it was more of an outdoor activity. Um, the sports events, we watched a baseball game, an American football game, 
and um, and this is time for reflections. Thank you so much. Um, Omneya and Asne. Um, hello everybody, this is Asma Maqdam, a lecturer of linguistics in Aswan University. I was uh, very honored to participate in this uh, program and uh, me and uh, my friend Omnea, uh, we're going to talk about the reflection part about our uh, program. Actually, uh, we have the uh, first part which is inspiring Egypt. Uh, these are the plans that we were asked to think about that uh, after going back to our uh, country, what we're going to do in order to not only benefit ourselves, but benefit other people from the program that we had. So the first thing that we plan to do is doing workshops in our own institutions in order to spread or share the experience that we had with our uh, colleagues there. And then we uh, use, of course, the techniques and the methods that we have been exposed there in uh, UARC in our own teaching uh, classrooms and so on in our universities. And then uh, my friend Omne is going to talk to you about participating in the night Hi everyone. Uh, actually, after the amazing experience of learning a lot um, and taking a lot of lectures about different things, we, many of us decided to go and present in the night Tisa. I'm one of those people. I already submitted my proposal to present about uh, something related to educational technology and using podcasts while teaching. And this is something I learned from my mentor there. And this will take me to the next point, which is mentorship and graduation projects. Actually, in the second phase, we as teachers, we, we were really lucky to have mentors. They, they helped us a lot. They, they made us think about many things that we haven't thought about before. And they actually guided us through our projects. So um, our projects mainly, uh, mine is one of the projects that focused on curriculum design. I, I started designing a new course. I, I work in the American University in Cairo, and I started designing a new course uh, for my department, and I already um, uh, submitted my proposal for it, and uh, it's returned with some changes, and I'm still submitting it with other things. So it's basically half accepted. I'm happy that um, I returned back to Egypt with something to offer to my institution. So my mentor was part of that. Uh, some of my colleagues actually worked on, uh, worked on their PhDs and they're working on them right now. So mentoring was really, really helpful for all of us. So Esma is going to speak about more about projects and her own projects and our colleagues' projects. And we're going to wrap up after that, okay? Uh, to continue what uh, Omnea said, our projects actually, we were asked to choose from one of four projects, either to, have to uh, write a research paper or to uh, have like a curriculum design project or a PhD or MA thesis or to write uh, a grant. So some of us started uh, write, writing their own PhDs uh, um, proposals like uh, Sahar and Maisa and uh, Mariam. And actually, uh, one of the things that uh, when uh, Maisa proposed, um, uh, sorry, um, she presented her proposal, uh, they really got interested about the point that she was talking about, and she was offered or she was asked to apply for a PhD uh, scholarship in the uh, University of Arkansas, and now she's in the process of applying for the proposal, uh, the PhD grant, and I hope that she would get it. Also, Sahar and Mariam's points uh, were really interesting, and they also encouraged Sahar and Mariam also to apply for the uh, PhD uh, grant there. Um, as Omnea talked about her project, she, did, she designed the curriculum that she already designed using uh, music in teaching, which is very interesting. And then came our, uh, my own project, which was grant writing. And um, when I was there, I noticed that there is some kind of cooperation between University of Arkansas and some other universities around the world. So I decided to just uh, have the same idea with uh, my university, University of Aswan, and then uh, I started uh, communicating with the RILU, the Regional English Language Office in the uh, U.S. Embassy in here, asking them or proposing for them to try to, to fund some kind of cooperation between University of Arkansas and University of Aswan, and then uh, after coming back, I was able to finish the first phase, which is getting three of the staff members from the SILK, uh, into coming to University of Aswan in April, next April, giving 10-day uh, workshops to our staff members in Faculty of Languages in Aswan University. And I got the acceptance from the uh, RELU to fund this, uh, this phase, the first phase of the program. And then we're waiting for just the security agreements uh, related to Aswan University. Hopefully, um, the success of this first phase would help um, the other phases of 
taking some staff members from uh, faculty members from a university of uh, Aswan to travel to Arkansas or to get some students to travel go uh, back to Arkansas and study English in there. Uh, another thing is that uh, the continuing education center at the BUE here in Egypt is considering having some kind of cooperation between uh, Silk and uh, itself in order to get some kind of cooperation uh, related to the two centers, which is uh, going to be a really interesting thing as well. So these were the projects that um, that we were planning there and that we already started taking uh, action in, and hopefully in the next few uh, months they are going to uh, be carried on. And as uh, we said in the beginning that most of us are considering presenting in Nile Tiesel and other uh, international EFL conferences about our own experience and what uh, the knowledge and experience that we had in, uh, in New York and how we benefited from it and how we benefited everybody. Okay? So, Lubna? This is the last thing we would like to remind you of is that the Fulbright experience for us at University of Arkansas was that of learn, apply, and we are now in the sharing and the inspiring phase. And we would like all of you to join us in this, and we are encouraging you to apply to a Fulbright scholarship in which you are going to really empower yourself. Thank you very much.